Hey, Dan here, and in this video, I wanna share how you can triple, triple your savings overnight so you can live like a king. Now, before I get into it, if you're new to the channel, my name is Dan. I'm the author of way too many books and the creator of The Free Freelancer and ENFP Unleashed. And here at Dreams Around the World, my mission is to help you become the best version of yourself while creating the most awesome life possible for you and those you love. Damn, that's a long interphrase. I might have to shorten that. So how can you triple your savings? This is something that I have done in my own life for about the last six years, although not the entire way through. And it is to leverage where you live versus where you earn money or where you have money saved. So let's say you are currently an American, you're living in St. Louis and you're like, hey, I live in St. Louis. I like the St. Louis Blues is your hockey team if I remember, right? And that's what I do. Hey, okay, I have $10,000. I have a job I don't like. I would like to quit that job and go write a book. And with that book, I would like to build a new life. And that book will take me six months to write. And it costs me $3,000 a month to live. So answer this math question. Can I write the book? The answer is no. You only have about three months and a week and a half or so of living expenses in the bank. So what will happen? You'll be three months in and you go broke. What could you do instead? Well, maybe you're this guy in St. Louis and you're like, hey, why don't I move somewhere else? Maybe a tropical paradise like Nicaragua before the whole protest and it went to hell earlier this year. Or maybe Colombia, which is actually much safer than people now think. Perhaps I'll move to Southeast Asia, Thailand or Bali, Vietnam, or I could head over to Europe. Personally, as Dan, not the guy from St. Louis, I love Europe and the Central and Eastern Europe countries like the Czech Republic, Romania, um, Serbia, Hungary are surprisingly affordable and have amazing infrastructure and all that. So maybe our friend from St. Louis makes the move and he takes his $10,000 and he hops over and he says, you know what, I am going to try to give myself as much possible time as I can. So he moves to Budapest, Hungary and sets himself up. And for roughly $1,200 a month, he can get an apartment in the city center. Most of Europe, by the way, has amazing infrastructure in terms of public transit. So you do not need to own a car. You'd be insane actually to own a car. So our friend sets himself up. He gets a great apartment, can go out for meals three, four times a week, joins a little co-working office space and does this all for about $1,200 a month. Now, why, why did I make it 1,200? This is gonna to be tough mental math to do. So we got 10,000, 1,200, six is what? Five months is 6,000. So he's got like roughly nine months, eight and a half, nine months now to write his book. So he's got his initial six months covered plus a little buffer because let's be honest, when you plan to do something, it usually takes longer than you planned. So our friend there has now massively extended his runway. And ultimately, when you're looking at any kind of artistic pursuit, entrepreneurial endeavor, or just a big life change, how much money you have in the bank isn't what matters. It's your runway. How long do you have before you run out of money? Because when you're starting out in a business, you have a couple of goals. Start the business, which is actually a huge step, right? Taking that action, overcoming your fear, and then get to the point where that business or that book or whatever it is that you're creating is earning enough money that you don't starve to death and you can live off of just the business without you know, savings or side jobs or things like that. The time in between is your runway and the longer you can make that in general, the better. Um, there is some, thing, you know, some benefits to having some pressure and that sort of thing, but giving yourself as much time as possible to succeed is really key to be able to get something off the ground. And so that, my friends, is how you can triple your savings, essentially, by tripling your runway and how long you actually have. Not to leave you hanging, I wanna share a bit more on the realities of moving abroad and moving somewhere that has a much lower cost of living, especially if you're coming from, well, pretty much any developed country most of us are assholes when it comes to what we see as less developed countries in terms of our 
perceptions. I think when people, I live in Prague in the Czech Republic, I've been here for four years. And I think people's assumptions about what it will be like, like people have safety concerns when they come to visit. And the Czech Republic is right up there with New Zealand and Canada as safest places in the world. Um, Prague is one of the safest cities in the entire world. There's like Wi-Fi on the trams. You can get, I go to order groceries from my laptop right now and have them delivered within a couple hours. Like that's what the city is like. But people have these perceptions because they watched the news in the 1970s and was like, yeah, the Soviets and this sort of thing. So in general, what I would say is the world is developing a lot faster than you know. So if you haven't spent a lot of time traveling in um, I'm speaking specifically more with like Central and Eastern Europe. You're going to be really surprised at how developed things are, how good the infrastructure is. Um, it's, yeah, in many cases, a lot better than in North America, uh, especially with like transit and, and that sort of thing. Um, overall, you know, people might be worried about safety. You might think about that. As I said, a lot of places are going to be as safe or safer than back home for you. Obviously, that depends where you're coming from and all that. And there are some lower price places that are quite dangerous as well. I wouldn't recommend necessarily Honduras right now, for instance. It's probably not the safest place to be spending your time. Now, one thing that is really cool is this approach to having more runway to being able to live off savings or off a lower income for longer. It's newer, but it's not a brand new concept. And that means that in a lot of the best spots, places like Prague or Budapest or uh, all over Southeast Asia, um, some of South America, there are already communities of expats and nomads and entrepreneurs, artists, people who have been uh, moving abroad, sometimes for this reason, but sometimes for other reasons, like they just they prefer the lifestyle there's many upsides of living somewhere else um i know that america is the greatest country on earth god bless america i'm canadian by the way um but there are some serious downsides to the lifestyle and what i have found is a lot of other countries are a lot more walkable they're based on sort of a like a city layout that lends itself more to being social to not having to drive to going out and meeting your friends more. Um, some cultures are a lot livelier. Um, I really love like Central and South America for that reason. There's just like an energy I get when I'm there, when I'm not being stabbed and stuff that, uh, that I find really appealing. So there's other reasons as well to move abroad. I, I do not want to leave this video with you thinking like, okay, it will be two years in hell. I'm going to have to move to this, this terrible country because I'll save money and whatever. In my experience, I've loved living everywhere I've been um, and even visiting. I was in Belgrade uh, two months ago and had a great time. I almost actually moved to Belgrade many years ago, but I could see living in a city like Belgrade and it would be great. And a lot of these uh, places that are uh, a lot cheaper to live in are actually really fun cities with great friendly people, tons of nightlife, tons of things going on. And so in most cases, what you'll end up finding is you're able to move abroad. Um, you'll live somewhere smaller, most likely, because you won't be moving with all your possessions from back home. So you'll end up getting a smaller place to live. Your cost of living will be a lot lower, but you'll end up having a great time and great experience and have a lot of money left over to either have a really long runway or have a longer runway and also like eat out a lot and have a lot more of a social life and that kind of thing as well. So highly, highly, highly recommend this, this approach. There's some other benefits of it that I, I don't know, I don't want to drag this video on too long, uh, but there's definitely some benefits to changing your scenery, changing your environment when it comes to starting a new business or um, starting some kind of artistic endeavor or something like that as well. If you are not yet a subscriber to the channel, please do subscribe. Hit that bell beside the subscribe button as well so you're notified of new videos. And I will catch you in another video very soon where I will do my best to help you create an awesome life for you and those you love. Have a great day. Bye.